me. Pokemon Go. This is the game we've been hearing a lot about lately. And there's a reason for that. It's because it allows trainers to finally go out and hunt Pokemon in the real world. Wow. Do you know how long people have been fantasizing about doing such a thing? Well, obviously you're not literally throwing Pokeballs at Pokemon because... Okay. Anyway, so before we were interrupted now, I'm going to dive into this and see what kind of news we have for today. Because if you've been following the news with this game, I've, you'll see a lot of interesting things. Like how people have been playing in the wrong places, or they've been playing while they were driving, and all sorts of other inappropriate scenarios. So... Don't be one of them, you know. Like, don't play in the Auschwitz Museum or at some memorial event where you're supposed to be paying your honor or respect and whatnot. It's just common sense and courtesy. But sadly, some people seem to lack that. So they still go ahead and just do that because sometimes a very rare Pokemon, like I guess Mewtwo or something, will show up. And they're like, you know, I have to catch this thing, even if it means I have to take a little bit of a risk. But don't. I mean, I think in Florida, as Floridians may be aware of, there's even a sign in one of the areas that mentions to people, do not poke and drive. For real though, do you really need to be told not to pokey and drive? That's just nuts. Now, okay, so... How Pokemon Go went from Google playing to mobile game phenomenon. Apple says Pokemon Go is the most downloaded app in the first week ever. Pokemon Go brings App Store record for most downloads in its first week. So, this game is making major headlines. It's insane. Like, wow. Now, what's also pretty interesting is that I hear this game um, released to the Japanese audience, as of, which is like July 22nd. And that's kind of weird because when they said it was first released to countries in the Asia Pacific, one would have thought, okay, Japan would have naturally be among the first because after all, Pokemon are Japanese creatures, you know, coming from a Japanese creator, but it wasn't. Instead, it was um, New Zealand and Australia that got the game first. And that's crazy. So, what should we do with Pokemon Go? And oh, while you're at it, you might be asking, will you be playing Pokemon Go? No, absolutely not. Like, you might be thinking, uh, isn't this channel supposed to be for, like, you know, gaming and random outdoor stuff? And yes, you're right, it is, but eh, don't get your hopes so high for me playing this game because it's just not something I want to do. You know, people might mug you or they might make fun of you and some other things can go wrong. On the flip side, there's also been a lot of positive stories that people are saying they've been making a lot of friends and nerds have been gathering and it's been encouraging people to exercise and go for long walks. That's true, but I prefer to just, you know, go on my regular adventures, not hunting for Pokemons. Now, as we can see here, we have the logo and the uh, familiar starters, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. And I see a car down here. Hopefully this guy is not driving and trying to catch Pokemon. Because that wouldn't be good. Looks like it's a Spanish video too, so I will not understand a word from it. Um, okay. So, this game, this game, this game. Okay, so I don't think there are any Sino starters yet. I guess this is just a promotion, because when I get to understand, I think it's just mostly Kanto. But if they did ever include Johto, Hoenn, Sino, Unova, and Kalos, then oh my goodness. I don't know how popular the game would be, because it's already ultra popular with just the Kanto Pokemon, so I can just imagine if they did all the others. It would be absolutely insane. Now let's see. Let's go to Pokemon Go Funny and see what we get there. Uh, is that Pope Francis? Yes, yes it is. Wow. Um, okay. 
Okay. I need not say more. That looks like the Gen 5 girl. Yeah. I think she's cosplaying as her. Here we have Caterpie with Ash's hat. Oh, I can't scroll any further? No, I guess it just cuts off there. Okay, so... What else should we do while we're looking at Pokemon Go? Is that PewDiePie? Yep. Yeah, it's him. I don't know what happened there, but let's just assume that he did something really bad and now he's on his knees asking for mercy. Who knows? So... See, do I see something about neighbors here? Um, <laughs> this is poking fun at the fact that it's even been encouraging people who are normally anti-social that have been getting out and playing the game, making lots of friends, and smiling and laughing. So that's that. I don't know what's up with that. Um, okay, let's go to Pokemon Go Rare. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just taking Pokemon Rare, not Pokemon Go. Because I'm even wondering, but wait, why am I seeing like Universe stuff and all that? Okay, so. Zapdos, Dragonite, Clefable, Snorlax. I've been hearing a lot about Snorlax. It looks like these are the rare sought-after Pokemon. Very interesting. I hope people aren't going to dangerous lengths just to catch them. Like going down into a ravine or something, or near an alligator's nest. Because for those that are in more rural areas, they might just do that just to go and catch a Mewtwo. People can be really dumb. Because if they'll drive and play this game, or if they'll, like, do it in the washroom or whatever, then I wouldn't put it past them for the lengths they would go to catch something rare, like Mewtwo or Mew or Articuno or something. Okay, so... Let's look at the start of Pokemon. Pokemon Go is 151 catch all monsters definitely ranked. Okay. The Pokemon Go map project reveals the location of every Pokemon. Well, I will not be interested in looking at the map for my region, because like I say, I won't be playing this game when I go on my adventures. It's not for searching for Pokemon. Now, that said, why don't we type in Pokemon Go Canada and see what happens. Incredibly dangerous Pokemon Go stunt drives ire of TTC. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see what happened here. Online video intended to flag the perils of Pokemon Go. So you see, as I was saying, you know, there are some potential serious dangers. Like some people, they might not be looking before they cross the road and then next thing you know, boom, a car gets you. Now I'm going to assume for this story that actually, let me just read. Online video trying to play adventures, trying to catch up along the same longer tracks. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm not really reading. I'm kind of just scrolling just to see if I can pick up what went on here. So, it seems like, um, I guess he was playing on the train tracks really close to or something like that. And the TTC is not impressed. Not at all. In the video, Mark Rare rocks right after dock into Lake Ontario. Okay, so, I guess he had his eyes so firmly glued onto the screen that he was getting ready to walk right into Lake Ontario. Now, son, you better hope that phone is waterproof like a Samsung Galaxy S7 Active or one of those Xperia phones or something. If it's not, then you're going to be having a very, very bad time. Even then, you might drown because... 
You're not prepared. You're just not. You know. So, if we're gonna play this game, be aware of your surroundings. Okay, let's see what other kind of crazy stuff happened. Pokemon Go dating services launches. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I don't know what that's about, but actually, let, let's go find out. What is this? Where nerds meet up and then they just talk about their interests and all the amazing Pokemon they caught? Okay. I guess I might be right. We have a girl and we have a guy and they're playing Pokemon Go and they're wondering and then they're like, wow, that's a cute nerd guy. Or wow, that's a cute nerd girl. I wonder if we can hit it together. Pokédates is offering single players in the U.S. and Canada dates based on their preferences and mutual desire to play Pokémon. I, I thought as much, because, you know, I mean, what else could it possibly be? Wow. I could not choose a girl just because she likes Pokémon or one thing that I like a lot. Like, that would be a little nuts, you know? Like, there's so much more to look for in another person than their interest in Pokémon. I mean, for me, I don't even play that game. So, this is meaningless to me! But, nonetheless, it was funny reading it. Now, should I look around some more, or should I just call it quits with this video? Actually, you know what, let's just look for some more news, maybe. Um, okay, I guess we should go to Pokemon Go News. Yeah, something we already read before. Pokemon Go catches on Japan. I discussed that earlier in the video, which I find kind of weird because Pokemon comes from Japan. Um, hmm. Teenager saw it dead well. Oh my gosh. No, okay, speaking of that, I remember some time ago reading a story with like this 40 year old man who was trying to hunt for Pokemon in the early morning. I think it was like three or something. And he met with these two teenagers, and the cops must have showed up and they thought they were trying to do a drug deal or something of the sort. Well, they weren't, they were just harmlessly hunting Pokemon, and they actually a lot of explaining, but I guess they ended up being free, but still, you know, that's nuts. Like, why would you be playing Pokemon Go at like 3 in the morning? Well, then again, the man said he couldn't sleep, but still. You know what? I think I should call it quits with this video. Sure, actually, you know what? I want to see some more Pokemon Go candle images before I finally call it quits. I don't know how long this video is. Probably been like 10 minutes or something, but who cares? Because me interesting, me rambling is interesting, right? No? Maybe? Haha, <laughs> dear. You know, because that's what we'd be catching lots of in Canada. We should be catching a lot of deer, moose, squirrels, beavers, loons. Things like that. And maybe some blue jays and cardinals. Okay, I'm not clicking on any of these images. Oh. Uh, let's see what this is about. Let's see. Um, Pacific lead, rugged French. Okay, I guess this has to do something with, like, gyms. Um, wow. Uh, I don't see the, the territories in the exception of the Yukon. Wow. So I guess there's no love for the Northwest. And none of it. Be interesting to see somebody playing that game from those two. Actually, let me check that in, actually. Let's see what we get. Pokemon Go. None of it. Ugh, stupid double typing. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get anything. Nope. Uh... Do the people of none of it even know about? Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. It's not like they don't have any iPhones or Android phones up there. Is that a moose? Yes, it is. This is a... Oh, uh, no. That's a deer. Okay, I'm going to call it quits. So, see you later.